Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about speed control of induction motor by cascading method. This is very important and just uh, lengthy. Okay, listen carefully. So for example, I am checking here a bus bar. This is my bus bar. I am checking supply. I am checking supply to the induction machine to connect it to the induction machine. This is the induction motor where we have to control the speed. This motor is the slippering induction motor which is the main motor. This is the main motor, slippering induction motor which having S1 slip and S1 slip and P1 number of poles. S1 slip and P1 number of poles. And here my supply frequency F. Right. Supply frequency F. Main machine. Main machine. Slippering induction machine. S1 P1. Next. This is coupled to a another machine which is called as auxiliary machine. Axillary machine may be slip ring or squirrel cage induction machine. Slip ring or squirrel cage with a slip S2 and number of poles P2. And these two are mechanically coupled each other. These two are mechanical coupled each other. Mechanically coupled each other. And this is generally slip ring induction machine, right? Here we have a slip rings. These slip rings gives the supply to the axillary machine. Slip rings nothing but here rotor frequency. What is rotor frequency is equals to S into F right? So S1 into Fs. Nothing but simply S1 into F. This is taken as rotor frequency for example F dash. So this is F dash. This F dash is the supply frequency of the auxiliary machine. It's a rotor frequency F dash. F dash is equal to S1 into F. And this rotor frequency is the supply frequency of the auxiliary machine. Supply frequency of the auxiliary machine. And here we have a rotor frequency of auxiliary machine. F double dash. Can you tell me what is F double dash? Can you tell me? F double dash is equal to S into F. Yes, nothing but yes to yes, nothing but yes dash. Yes to yes dash. This is supply frequency. This is slip. So yes double dash is equal to yes two into yes dash. Yes two into yes dash. Now tell me what is the what is the actual supply frequency? The actual supply frequency is yes. What is the rotor frequency? Rotor frequency of main machine, the rotor frequency of the main machine F dash is equals to S1 into F. S1 into F. And next one, what is the rotor frequency? Rotor frequency of auxiliary machine, rotor frequency of auxiliary machine F double dash is equals to F double dash is equals to S2 into F dash. This is supply frequency, nothing but the set supply frequency. Set supply frequency. This is the rotor frequency of auxiliary machine, nothing but the set rotor frequency. The total, total rotor frequency and total stator frequency, like that. The set supply frequency, the set output frequency, rotor frequency. So tell me, F double dash is equals to S2 into F dash, S2 into S1 into F. Because F dash can be written as, F dash can be written as S1 into F. So finally, F double dash is equals to capital S into F. S1 is the slip of the main machine. S2 is the slip of the auxiliary machine and S is the set slip. S is the set slip. Here, set slip. Set slip S is equal to S1 into S2. Set slip S is equal to S1 into S2. 
set slip s is equals to s1 into s2 set slip s is equals to s1 into s2 is very important this is simply about the cascading here the set slip s is equal to s1 into s2 f double dash is equal to s into f right now see here now see here comes to here what is synchronous speed of the machine one the synchronous speed of the machine one is 120 f by p 120 f by p1 synchronous speed of the machine one what is rotor speed of the machine one the rotor speed of the machine one is equals to ns into 1 minus s s ns ns ns1 into 1 minus s1 this is my rotor speed of the main machine or machine 1 now i want what is synchronous speed of the machine 2 the synchronous speed of the machine 2 is equals to 120 f dash by p2 why what is the supply frequency for machine 2 f dash can you tell me what is the rotor frequency for machine 2 the synchronous speed into 1 minus s2 synchronous speed into 1 minus s2 right sir right these are the for the machine 1 and these are for machine 2 machine 1 and machine 2 but here i told you both are mechanically coupled to each other both are mechanically coupled here. If mechanically coupled, nothing but NR1 is should be exactly equals to NR2. Mechanically coupled, right? Mechanically coupled, nothing but these two should be equal speed. Because the two shafts are mechanically coupled. The speed of the main machine is exactly equal to the speed of the auxiliary machine. Because both the shafts are mechanically coupled. So, NR1 is equals to NR2. That is equals to how much they are asking the question. This NR1 is equal to NR2. I know what is the value. What is the value? Let's see. Let's see how we can do. So, what I told you? NR1 is equals to NR2. And here, generally, the coupling also two types. Generally, the coupling also two types. One is called as cumulative coupling cumulative coupling other one is called as differential differential coupling cumulative coupling differential coupling cumulative nothing but positive sequence differential nothing but negative sequence cumulative nothing but positive sequence the differential nothing but negative sequence Okay, positive sequence, I will give you explanation for positive sequence or cumulative connection. You have to derive for differential. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Right, sir, comes to here. Here, NR1 is equals to NR2. What is NR1? 120F by P1 into 1 minus S1 is equals to 120 F dash by P2 into 1 minus S2. 120, 120 gets cancelled. So, F by P1 into 1 minus S1 is equals to F dash can be written as S1 into F by P2 into 1 minus S2. This frequency, frequency gets cancelled. So what is the value? 1 by P1 minus S1 by P1 is equals to S1 by P2 minus S1 into S2 by P2. Comparatively, S1 into S2 is very, 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 very small value. This is the small value. That's why this can be negligible small value that's why negligible s is the 0 0.05 another 0 0.05 0 0.05 into 0 0.05 5% into 5% 0 0.0025 very small value that's why that is negligible so what is the value what is the value just to just to bring here minus s1 by p1 bring here so what is the value 1 by p1 is equals to 
S1 by P1 plus S1 by P2. S1 by P1 plus S1 by P2. If it is comes here, okay, no problem. If it is P2, it is P1. As your wish. So S1 by P2 plus S1 by P1. Now do the LCM. 1 by P1 is equals to S1 common and the LCM is P1 into P2 and here P2 plus P1, P2 plus P1 and P1, P1 gets cancelled out. P1, P1 gets cancelled out. Tell me what is S1? I want S1. S1 is equals to P2 divided by P2 plus P1. P2 plus P1. S1 is equals to P2 divided by P2 plus P1. Can you expect what is the answer for differential? What is the answer for differential? S1 is equals to S1 is equals to P2 by P2 minus P1. P2 by P2 minus P1. P2 minus P1. Let's check. Is it or not? Now, this is your time. You have to do the derivation. Hold the video and do the derivation and give me S1 is equals to. Do it first. Yeah, you can do. Do it first. The answer should be yeah, P2 divided by P2 minus P1. See, see, here also 120F by P1 into 1 minus S1, of course, but negative sequence or differential connection. That's why 120F dash by P2 into 1 minus positive nothing but slip is the S2. But negative sequence. What is the slip for negative sequence? I given you already FR is equal to S into FS. FR is equal to 2 minus S into FS. This is positive slip and this is negative slip. This is negative slip. I given you in uh, speed equations. Right? Right? So, what is here? Here, 1 minus S2, not S2. 1 minus 2 minus S2. 1 minus 2 minus S2. Why it is 2 minus S2? Negative sequence slip is 2 minus S. Negative sequence slip is 2 minus S. That's why 1 minus 2 minus S. Right? Let's do. Is it correct or not? Let's do. 120, 120 gets cancelled. So, F by P1 into 1 minus S1 is equals to S1 into F by P2 into 1 minus 2. Nothing but minus 1. Nothing but S2 minus 1. Frequency, frequency gets cancelled. 1 by P1 minus S1 by P1 is equals to S1, S2 by P2 minus S1 by P2. Yes or no? S1, S2 by P2 minus S1 by P2. Now, this is negligible because the small value. Because the small value, that's why this is negligible. And next, this brings here. This bring here. So 1 by P1 is equals to S1 by P1 minus S1 by P2. S1 by P1 minus S1 by P2. Now tell me 1 by P1 is equals to what is LCM? P1 into P2. S1 common for example. S1 common. S1 common. And P1 P2 is the LCM and here what is the value here P2 minus P1 This P1 P1 gets cancelled Cancel or not cancel so tell me what is S1 S1 is equals to S1 is equals to P2 divided by P2 minus P1 P2 divided by P2 minus P1 This is our S1 for differential connection this is our S1 for cumulative connection. P2 divided by P2 plus P1. Here P2 divided by P2 minus P1. Yes, sir. I got the two answers. I got the two answers. One for cumulative, other for differential. Now substitute these two values here. 
we have a s1 that's why we have to substitute these two values in nr1 nr1 tell me what is the answer substitute here substitute here nr1 is equals to nr1 is equals to 120 f by p1 into 1 minus s1 what is s1 for positive sequence what is s1 for positive sequence for positive sequence p2 by p2 plus p1 this nr1 is nothing but nr nr1 is equals to nr2 is equals to same is nr for example because both are coupled already mechanically nr1 is equal to nr2 that is equal to generally called as nr rotor speed so nr is equals to 120 f by p1 into 120 f by p1 into what is value p2 plus p2 plus p1 minus p2 by p1 plus p2 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 gets cancelled and p1 p1 gets cancelled so finally the rotor speed is equals to 120 f by p1 plus p2 p1 plus p2 for positive sequence for positive sequence the rotor speed is equals to 120 f by p1 plus p2 120 f by p1 plus p2 this is for positive sequence. Can you expect what is the rotor speed for negative sequence or differential connection? For differential connection, the rotor speed is 120 F by P1 minus P2. That is correct answer. P1 minus P2. How we can get? How we can get? Let's substitute the value. Let's substitute the value. Substitute the value. Okay. Is it okay? Now NR1 is okay nr1 is okay now here i am doing nr2 or nr1 for differential sequence differential connection nr1 is equals to 120 f by p1 into 120 f by p1 into 1 minus s1 what is s1 for differential connection what is s1 for differential connection p2 by p2 minus p1 p2 by p2 minus p1 if we calculate this one here P2 plus P1 minus P2. P2, P2 gets cancelled. P1, P1 gets cancelled. Finally, what is answer? Our NR is equals to 120 F by P1 minus P2. 120 F by P1 minus P2. This is for positive sequence or cumulative connection. This is for negative sequence or differential connection. This is for cumulative connection. This is for differential connection 120 f by p1 plus p2 120 f by p1 minus p2 p1 minus p2 this is uh, for cumulative connection and this is for differential connection this is totally what is the derivation for cascading is very important for example nr1 is equal to nr2 is equal to nr rotor speed nr what is the rotor speed for cumulative connection, what is the rotor speed? 120 F by P1 plus P2. For differential connection, what is the rotor speed? 120 F by P1 minus P2. What is the slip values? Once clear clearly. Once see clearly. Very important.